Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to a little bit of community news. Today I want to give a shout out to a new account, a grouping of individuals that are promoting uh, female horror authors. The name of the group is Ladies of Horror Fiction. I'm going to start off by reading their mission statement and then I'm going to go into who all is, is, who all is involved. So first, the mission statement. We believe that women in horror fiction are underrepresented, often lost in the sea of male authors, and often unacknowledged for their brilliance. Ladies of Horror Fiction was created to bring about a multidimensional way to support women, either cisgender or those who identify as female, who either write in the horror genre or review in it. This will be done via the website, the podcast, the yearly Instagram challenge, read-alongs featuring said authors, and other activities that have not yet been determined. I am already following this account. I have been watching them. They are doing a terrific job. In fact, if you go to the website, their blog, on and down there in the doobly-doo, I've linked to it. If you go there, you can check out the most recent, the coming soon, all-female horror authors. This is amazing. One of the number one complaints I hear from people in the book community is they cannot find female horror authors. And even when they do, they're few and far between. Um, usually it's only the award winners. Um, it's, it's very difficult to find new voices as far as female horror is concerned. Um, some of my favorite authors, period, are women. Um, like Carolina Kepnes, uh, Jasmine Ray, uh, Araminta Hall, the list goes on, Marisha Pessel, Pessel, however you pronounce her last name. Um, some of my favorite authors, period, but there are very few women that I can name off the top of my head, and that's disconcerting. I don't like that. So I really do appreciate having this list to fall back on anytime I need to tell somebody, hey, look, here's some authors I may not have read, but they are around. I also plan on doing, you know, not just in February when the Women of Horror, uh, I, think it, I think that's the month that they focus on women in horror, which is, I, it, it's strange that we even need that, but I, I'm glad that it's there and I'm glad that we do that. The thing is, I, w I want to promote this, you know, 12 months out of the year. I don't want just one month. And it's good to have that one month there to, to hyper-focus, to laser-focus on something. But me, myself, am going to try and read more and more female horror authors. Uh, one of the main reasons is that I just I don't see enough of it. Uh, one of the things that I want to see that I'm looking for right now is a, a slasher novel, something in that vein, from a female author. I thought I, I thought that was going to be that with uh, Riley Sager. Uh, for some odd reason, I thought that was a, a woman, and it was going to be a slasher novel. It was it was neither. So if you guys know, especially my community, if you guys know of any book like that, let me know down there in the comments below. But I now I'm going to get into who's running this and their accounts and all that stuff where you can find them, whether or not I know them personally, all that stuff. So we're going to go over to meet the team. Sorry, I'm excited for this. Uh, I've been I've been looking for something for like this for for ages. All right, so uh, meet the team. Ladies of Horror Fiction was co-founded by four women horror bloggers who had come together on a different mutual project and soon realized that they could use their ability to work together and complementary skills to found a project that could potentially make a huge impact. It would be a celebration, a lifting up of the underrepresented in the horror genre, and thus the Ladies of Horror Fiction was formed. Shortly after formation, a handful of others joined the team because of similar passions and complementary skills. So the co-founders, in alphabetical order, uh, Jen from Book Den. I'm I I've known I've seen Jen around. I don't know her personally. Uh, Lori from Bark's Book Nonsense. A little back history. Um, I used to be a a very avid book blogger with the Book Likes community. Um, I've since kind of gotten away from that. Uh, one reason or another, I think it's because the site was having problems and I just kind of moved my focus on to other things, mainly this YouTube channel. But Barks was one of the first people I met over there. She's a fantastic person. And yes, I know she's down here as Lori, but Barks, you will always be Barks to me. Uh, next is Lil and G from the Sci-Fi and Scary. I follow this Twitter account. Great Twitter account. Great blog. I suggest you check it out if you do not. Once again, all the links are going to be on their page. I'm going to direct you to them. So you can go to their Meet the Team page and follow them directly from there. Next up we have Tony from The Misadventures of a Reader. 
Tony was very important with the Nocturnal Reader's Box situation. Um, a, lo a lot of my information and a lot of heads up and a lot, just a lot of interaction came, came from her. Um, I really do appreciate that, Tony. Thank you. Um, I suggest everybody check out her blog, her social deets, all that stuff. Now on to the other team members, uh, Alex. I think this is Alex uh, Montauk on Instagram. I think I got that wrong. That's why I'm going to send you guys to the website so you can check the Meet the Team tab yourself. Uh, next up is Kat. Uh, I think that's Red Lace Reviews, I'm pretty sure. Um, Emily Book.Happy on Instagram and Twitter. She's amazing. Um, M is so cool. She's terrific. Uh, I know her. She, I consider her a friend of mine. Um, I love I love her pictures. And in fact, her and Sadie Lou Who on Instagram are tied for my favorite Instagram. I just can't pick between the two. They're both awesome. Uh, Gracie Cat. I am unaware of this one. Um, if I don't follow you on Twitter, the only thing I could find on the team link is your uh, is a a link to sci-fi and scary so if you have something if you want to comment down below um, in the comment section let me know where I can follow you if I don't already follow you I might I might just not be aware of your name so finally Tracy Tracy is another friend of mine um, we talk almost daily uh, we interact if not on Twitter then we talk in DMs but Tracy is another one um, she's a terrific person and I'm really glad to know her all these people are great um, that what they're doing here is important, um, not just for the community as a whole, but just as to archive and to make people aware that that these authors exist and their books, where to find them. I think I think that's the biggest problem right now, and this fills in a huge hole in the book community is how to find underrepresented authors, and I love it. So that's my shout out to the ladies of horror fiction. Um, if you would like to comment on your favorite female horror authors down below, let's just let's keep it horror this time, not just favorite you know female authors. Period. Let's keep it horror down there in the comments below, and definitely everybody go check out their uh, Instagram, which I'll link to, and their Twitter and their website. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a little bit of bookish news. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.